Hi everyone, my name is Regina Kincaid. I'm a midwife and international board certified lactation consultant and I've also just started my fifth breastfeeding journey with my youngest son Daniel here. He's nine days old today and um, my channel really is all about breastfeeding support and getting breastfeeding off to a good start. So Daniel and I have compiled some of the most common breastfeeding positions for you so that you can see the breast it really is like a clock face that can be accessed from 360 degrees. You don't really have to stick to one traditional breastfeeding position. As you learn this new skill with your new baby, you will figure out what works best for you. And sometimes this depends on certain breastfeeding challenges that you have or your own breast anatomy. So we have put together these most common breastfeeding positions for you. If you're interested in seeing how to attach your baby and how to latch on your baby in each of those positions, head over to my YouTube channel membership program. So sign up for my YouTube channel membership program for only 9.99 euros per month. And you will also have access to all the videos of my breastfeeding preparation class, as well as seeing how to attach your baby in each of those positions. So without further ado, let's get into the video. First up is the traditional cradle hold that most of us picture when we think of breastfeeding. Although this is a very popular position, especially for feeding older babies out and about, it is not always easy with a newborn, as they will often require guidance for latch on. This is more difficult to provide when rolling your baby close to you with the forearm and elbow of the side you're feeding on. It can, however, be useful from birth if your breasts are very large and full. Next is the cross cradle hold, which looks similar to the cradle hold, but your arms switch roles for latch on, so your baby's body lies along your opposite forearm. The aim is to support your baby around his neck and shoulders to allow him to tilt his head prior to latch. It is important to keep your hand off your baby's head so they can come onto the breast chin leading. Follow the principles of effective positioning for any of the holds you choose. The cross cradle hold is a great newborn breastfeeding position and is also good for small babies and those with latching difficulties. Because your baby is fully supported on your opposite arm, you have more control over his positioning and you can use your free hand to shape your breast. Lots of new mums use the side lying position to get some rest and to avoid pressure on perineal stitches or a caesarean section scar. Make sure there are no pillows around your baby's head and that your baby can't roll off the surface. Follow the positioning principle of keeping baby's head and body in a straight line, meaning your baby should lie parallel to you or tummy to tummy, your nipple between their eye and nose level for latch on. Once your baby is latched, you can roll up a muslin cloth or blanket to prevent baby from rolling on their back, which would make nursing more difficult, again ensuring baby's head is free. This position may be difficult to master on your own in the beginning, so you may ask your support person to help you. In the upright or koala hold, your baby sits straddling your thigh or on your hip with his spine and head upright as he feeds. You can do this hold with a newborn if you give your baby plenty of support and it's also a convenient way to feed an older baby who can sit unassisted. 
the upright or koala hold is often the most comfortable breastfeeding position for babies who suffer from reflux or ear infections and it can also work well with babies who have a tongue tie or low muscle tone. The koala hold encourages babies to open their mouth wide and as gravity pulls them into the mother's body they often achieve a deeper latch. This is called the rugby ball hold because you sit with your baby resting along your forearm. His body is tucked alongside your side with his feet towards the back of the chair or sofa. You may want to create space for your baby's legs behind your back by supporting your back with a pillow on the opposite side. This is another helpful early nursing position because it supports your baby well while giving you plenty of control and a good view of his face. Being tucked in closely alongside your body will help your baby feel safe too. Mums who've had a C-section, twins or a premature baby along with those who have larger breasts may also like this position. The next two positions are laid back or reclined positions, the first one being the laid back cross cradle hold. Laid back feeding is also known as biological nurturing as it is thought that this is our species biological feeding norm. This position, especially in skin contact, triggers baby's instinctive feeding behaviour like during the breast crawl after birth. Baby's whole body is in contact with the mother's body, which helps him to orientate himself and make sense of his environment. Late back feeding is therefore great for a breastfeeding diet who struggles with latch on and achieving a deep latch. If you suffer from a block duct or mastitis, it can help to point baby's chin towards the blockage to clear the clogged duct effectively. The next position shows the upside down side lying position, which can help if the blockage presents itself in the upper quadrant of the breast. The same applies to the next position, which is the dangle feeding position. Gravity may also assist the milk flow. This breastfeeding position involves your baby lying on his back while you crouch over him on all fours and dangle your nipple into his mouth. Dangle feeding is probably not a breastfeeding position you want to do regularly, but it might just help if you need to mix it up. I hope this video encourages you to try out different breastfeeding positions and helps you to figure out which position is most comfortable for you and your baby. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with another breastfeeding mom and subscribe to my channel for more. And otherwise, until next time, hope your breastfeeding journey is going well.